<laughs> Stephen A. Smith confidently claimed yesterday on First Take that Stephon Diggs no longer wants to be on the Buffalo Bills. He said, quote, he wants out. I have my sources. And we have the video, so take a look at this. Mm. You got Stephon Diggs, this brother all-world receiver, but clearly wasn't happy, walked out, didn't want to talk to nobody. They came into training camp. They had some friction. They had to get settled and all of this other stuff. Brother wants out, by the way. I'm just telling you what I know. I got my own sources. Brother wants out. He don't want to be in Buffalo no more. He don't want to. I'm telling you right now. I have my sources. Stephon Diggs got to be there, but he would prefer to be gone because he's lost a level of belief in the Buffalo Bill. That's right, I said it. It's Stephen A, baby. I'm not, I'm telling you what I know. Okay, you they, they can don't deny, they can tell you what they want. I have my sources. I'm telling you what I know. All right. But he's not gonna force his way out. He knows he got to be there and they got to perform. But he ain't feeling the Buffalo Bills the way that he once did because he feels there's a window of opportunity <laughs> that they may have missed out on. Josh Allen's got to show them that's not true. <laughs> well, listen, oh, Stephon man. Diggs is calling cat because he went ahead and tweeted out, quote, 100% not true. I don't know who the source is, but I thought I'd nip this shit in the bud already. Right. Brandon, who is fact and who is cap? This is a tough one for me, Ashley. Mm -hmm. um, where there's smoke, there is fire. Oh, okay. And so, um, look, the Diggs brothers, uh, they've trained here at House of Athlete, you know, here and there over the last few years. Uh, they're amazing people. I love their mom. You know, so I wouldn't call them, you know, brothers or anything like that. But we have a, we have a really nice relationship, right? So uh, I haven't talked to either of them about this situation, but... Ashley, we talked about it, right? Like, we knew that s s there was something going on in Buffalo, but nobody talked about it. But then mini camp came around. It was mandatory. He missed the first day. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is the smoke. He missed the first day. His agent came to town. Mm -hmm. He was back out there, but they have to have a meeting. And, you know, I think there has been people saying, like, yeah, he, he didn't show up and he didn't talk to his teammates, right? Mm -hmm. So that part of it I believe uh is true and earlier I was trying we were on our when we were talking about this earlier I was thinking like damn I, I felt like I heard you know that he asked uh you know to, to, to get out for a trade but I, I don't recall that right mm -hmm. so I, I want to tell you that you know what I mean but when you don't show up for you know off season which there's some vets that don't and you show up for mini camp and you have you know a little friction there you know, there, something was going on. Well, he now, never when, explicitly said he wanted a trade. It was reported that that's what he was looking for. And that was prior to him not showing up at um, mini camp. Right. So it never came out from Stefan Diggs specifically or his camp, but it has been circulating for a while that he was unhappy in Buffalo and wanted out. And, wanted out. <laughs> and, and so look, he, yeah, he came out and he said that, and that's, that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to rock with that. But we definitely know that. I know the question was, is this factor cap? I mean, is it factor is it cap? I think there's a I think it's it's like eh. It's this I think eh. it's eh. What's that? That's like a little bit of both, like PR, like you know what I mean? Yeah. It, well, it's it damage be, control. It can't be Here's what I, cap. Could it be this though? Okay. Could it be this? Could it be that in the off season he thought about it or maybe even asked for a trade? But then they had that meeting and then it was like, okay, we good now. Right, so Stephon Diggs, because if you listen to what Stephen A. said, he said he wants out. No, Stephon can come out and be, you know, one hundred percent and say honest. I wanted out. Correct. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, eh, it's not fact, fact or cap. Yeah, I, I can. Okay. Yes, <laughs> I, I see that. I yeah. think that. That's why he's saying it's not true because he was making it seem, Stephen A was like, making it seem like it's present tense. That's right. And Stefan Diggs at this point has already moved on from that, has already settled, settled his grievances right. wherever they were, whoever they were with, and now is focusing on the upcoming season, is, is content, is right. cool where he is. So technically, right. he doesn't want out. Yeah. That's not to say he never wanted out. <laughs> yeah, right. Correct. Yes. That just means at this present time on August 22nd, 2023, I do not want out. So you are wrong. But so yes and no. There you go. We're on the same page. I feel that. Um when this first came out, I think it actually came out a couple of days ago, 
Uh, and again, I don't know what's real, what's not on damn social media anymore. It seems like Twitter is where we get our news, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all taught me that, right? So I've been spending a lot of time on Twitter. Thanks, JP. Thanks, uh, Ashley. You're welcome. Um, but they had like uh, destinations that they asked for, right? This is all speculation. I don't know if it's true or not, but they had, and this is where it got weird for me. The first destination was uh, the Giants. That's believable, right? Because it's the biggest market. There's a lot of players. I think even Justin Jefferson may even say it recently that he could see himself in New York, mm -hmm. right? So like everybody wants to be in New York except for basketball and playing for the Knicks for some reason. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. um, but then they had the Chicago Bears. And I'm like, I don't get the Chicago Bears. And then the third was, uh, so it was the Chicago Bears and the third was the Colts, I believe. I believe it was the Colts. Really? I don't understand the Chicago Bears. I like Justin Fields. I don't. But like, the I, don't, Colts. I don't. You know. But you have something good going on in Buffalo between you and Josh Allen, and it's not always great. Like we've seen this so many times. Tom Brady got into it with uh, Randy Moss, right? You've seen Antonio Brown get into it with uh, uh, Big Ben. You know, that's part of this relationship between a quarterback and wide receiver. You have these type of bumps, right? So I just can't see him if he did ask for a trade saying, I want to go to Chicago or I want to go to the Colts, right? Like, you're a guy, you're getting 150, 60 targets. Josh, you, you know, you look up his stats the last three years since he's been there or four years since he's been there. He's like, he's, had, he's having, he's a top five, top three receiver. Well, before, before we move on from this, let's dive into something, though. We have all of this that kind of transpired in the offseason. Stefan Diggs allegedly wanting out, allegedly not being happy with his role, the direction of the team. Him and Josh Allen had that everlasting image of them arguing on the sidelines during the loss to the Bengals and Joe Burrow. Then you also had him not showing up to minicamp. He eventually did show up, but it was late. And now this keeps circulating that he wants out, wants it out. Um, he's calling it out and saying it's not true. We know all of the, the pieces of the story, but the biggest piece is if the Buffalo Bills do not go ahead and perform to the liking of mm. Stefan Diggs, they don't win the Super Bowl, they don't go to the Super Bowl, they don't go to the conference championship, or they do go to the conference championship and they lose, do you see Stefan Diggs once again <clears throat> Say, trying allegedly trying to force his way out of Buffalo. Do you think that this could be problematic heading into the season when people, every time the Bills have a bad game, they resort to say, well, this is why Stefan Diggs wants out. It can be distracting. It right. can be problematic in the locker room. That's right. Um, I don't know. Um, we talked about this, I believe. I don't know if it was Monday or if it was you know Thursday but it, mm -hmm. it was recent we ta I talked about the different buckets like what players play for maybe mm -hmm. that was Monday talking yeah. about James Harden not everyone plays for a championship not everybody uh -huh. plays for a championship um, some people play some people play for a championship some people play uh, uh, for the individual accolades and some people play for the fame mm -hmm. you got the money right and there's some guys that want it all and there's some guys like 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 this the, this, the, the scenery right like mm -hmm. I want to be in big cities etc cetera, etc cetera. I was a guy towards this second half of my career that was that I wanted it all. Not towards not the second half of my career, the end of my career. Mm -hmm. I was already in New York, right? So I'm building my brand. You know, I'm driving from Brooklyn up to you know 56 and 11th where CBS headquarters is, shooting inside the NFL. So that was easier than when I was in Chicago and I had to fly there on an off day. So like I'm in my lane. And I'm working on my transition, right? So I'm exactly where I want to be, and I love New York. But then the Jets imploded, right? The first year, great. Second year, we imploded. So now I'm like, damn, this is the end of my career. I got so how many years left? The Giants just went 11 and five. Mm -hmm. The Giants have a Super Bowl winning, two time Super Bowl winning quarterback. They have stability, a, a, a stable ownership group. They have a top five defense. They have. Odell Beckham Jr. on the other side. Mm -hmm. So I felt like moving from, you know, uh, uh, 
Florham Park to where are they at? Where are they at? I don't even know what that part of where the Giants are, right by MetLife Stadium, whatever. Don't ask me. Ask Andrew. <laughs> Somewhere in New Jersey. Oh, right. you don't even know. I forgot you're a New Giants fan. So I felt. I so no. I, listen. I don't know this. I felt <laughs> like the Giants would give me everything: an opportunity to win a championship, opportunity to extend, you know, into greatness from a numbers standpoint, the brand, the city, all of that. And then that didn't go well. I think that's where. Uh, Stefan Diggs is entering like that part of his career, right? Mm. There's nothing in Buffalo, and I don't know this, but if I'm Steph, when you look well, at Stefan Diggs, Buffalo, he's from a geographical standpoint. He he he's a big fish in a small pond, right? Yeah. Stefan Diggs was made for New York. Stefan Diggs is made for LA. Like though I see him in those two markets. And it's not about anything bad or or any beef, but I could see Stefan Diggs, whether this year or next year, saying, you know what, what's best for me in my career now and also getting ready for post is being in New York. Why? Or Dallas. Dallas is cool because yeah. of legacy and his brother 100 percent I like yeah. that. Bigger market, it's the second biggest football market. You know, in a, in a, in a, most in valuable US. franchise, but it is right. interesting that you bring up the small market because Stefan Diggs is a player who's always existed in a small mar small market. That's Minnesota, right. you get small tired market. of it. Mm -hmm. Buffalo, small market, and we talk about this all the time in the NBA. It's very rare to see a player go from a small market back to a small market once they've experienced a big market. Right. For example, I yep. remember at one point. You know, you'll always hear when, you know, when Katie left OKC and he went to Golden State. In terms of city, it's not the biggest city in California, has a bigger spotlight, but yep. then what happens? He goes to Brooklyn, New mm -hmm. York media. Then he goes to Phoenix. Again, Phoenix, not a major city when you think OKC. of, but it's bigger than OKC. <laughs> you know, when you think of major cities, you may not think of Phoenix, but the spotlight, it's That's very right. rare. The same thing with LeBron. When people, when LeBron went from Cleveland to Miami, back to Cleveland, it was home because he said he would always win a championship for Cleveland. When people were saying, oh, he's going to resign, he's going to resign. No, once you get a taste of a big market, you yeah. don't. It really takes a but, lot for you to go back. So what happens? He goes to L.A. Yep. You don't ever really want to go backwards. But, like it's but, a different game when you play in a Los Angeles. But or isn't New that York. the? But isn't that the perfect, you know, uh, um, example of what we're talking about? Right. LeBron James right now. Obviously, the, you know, Stephon Diggs is a legend, but LeBron James right, is, right, right, right. is, you know, we debate if he's the goat or not. Right? He's not right. the goat, but we debate it. Um, but remember, he went to L.A. Why? He wanted it all. Remember, there was right. a lot of pushback. He took a lot of criticism because it's like, oh, he's Hollywood now. He's trying to do movies, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera. He went there to get his money. He went to uh, win a championship, mm -hmm. you know, and he also went there to build uninterrupted Spring Hill and all the other ventures that he's into. Mm -hmm. yep. Space Jam. Right. So, so like, there's a lot of players. It's a copycat. We 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 copy each other. We study each other, right? And when you think about like LeBron James, the Tom Brady's, where we're watching those moves, you know, basketball, football is the same thing. So I don't think, and and I'm not trying to. This is not breaking news. This is not like I haven't had this conversation. It's just a, you know, if right. I'm Stephon Diggs, I would if I'm not going to win a Super Bowl in the next year or two, I would be like, yo, I'm trying to get to New York or L.A. Right. right? Like, Stephon Diggs, in a fashion standpoint, he's that guy right now. I don't know sure. if there's a bit... And it's crazy how he was able to do it. I don't know, Ashley, if there's a... I'm not saying he's the flyest, which I love his his style. I think he's top five. But, yo, he is getting to the bag. All these brands want to work with him, and his team is doing a phenomenal job. So, I, it, it's going to be interesting to see what he does in that space in the near future and years from now.